Hi folks, it's John from KingstonPowderCoating.com. Uh, this is our second video. In our first video, we basically were just standing outside uh, beside our service vehicle that we're going to have pickup and delivery service available. Uh, with the introduction of um, the latest division of LastChanceAutoStore.com, which is powder coating. Um, so essentially, what's happening is all of our product, it's incredible the number of uh, colors and variety of colors which we'll share with you. Um, a bunch of our samples have arrived. Um, our product or our powder um, is coming in basically every couple of days. For the next few weeks, I would imagine, uh, we'll have quite an abundance of uh, inventory of powder. So you can see here on the shelf, we're just starting to um, gather up and uh, they basically come in cases. So uh, we're organizing everything and uh, there'll be a wide range of colors and types. Um, there's basically three main companies uh, that manufacture and provide powder coating and we're uh, uh, looking at the upper level or higher quality um, in my opinion of, of the different grades of powder that are out there. Um, so essentially what we've done is we've been um, we went through and reviewed, we did a lot of research, we have our uh, state-of-the-art uh, powder coating gun, a lot of our equipment has arrived, and I'm quite happy to see, um, they're, they're claiming, I think there's something crazy, about 6,500 uh, different versions of powder and colors available. Um, so basically, I'm just going to kind of share with you, some of them have... Uh, incredible finish to them like more of a sparkle kind of look or metallic and hopefully um, the camera can pick it up there's they have it's just amazing what what you can do now with powder um, where they have uh, you know sparkles and they have chameleons which changes color uh, essentially anything there's you can see there's um, like textured and uh, hammered style lots of different metallics and pearls uh, you get into your silvers and almost chrome looking. So hopefully my light uh, that I'm showing doesn't really distract everything. And then you get into like your apples. Um, it's just amazing what they can do. So um, a lot of these samples, they have the, uh, the regular powder or the regular color. And then there's different ways to treat it. And you can see there's some, uh, you know, metallics and and stuff in these guys too. So it's amazing, you got, you got some really uh, bright colors, you have a lot of the pastels. Um, so there's lots of applications for uh, this type of, of paint finish. It's extremely durable, um, a wide range, a wide variety of, of items can be uh, painted and protected. And then uh, we come up to, like, to this idea here, um, where it has almost like a stone look to it, which is I think is incredible. Um, and then they have some other hammered tones uh, and different variations of the hammered look. But this to me almost looks like countertop kind of idea. Um, and it's amazing that the powder can do that sort of texture or hammered kind of look to it. Um, and I'll just try to f help the camera person just in case. I'm Hopefully it's not too distracting. Uh, with this light because we're, we're kind of in a, in a funny spot in a shop here with some shadows and then you get into some really bright stuff uh, coppers and greens and blues and purples and um, you know like a coppery kind of color with with the metallic so they have so many different varieties uh, and different applications for it different uses so um, we've been kind of creative in some of the samples that we're starting to do uh, just to get an idea of different applications that you can do, um, kind of like gifts and hobbyists as opposed to just automotive. Um, there's a huge demand for it in the, uh, the automotive, especially in the auto industry where we're restoring classic vehicles. Um, it gives us another option in terms of paint finish. So there's so many different paint products out there. Um, so it gives us quite a variety and the quality of the, uh, the powder coat is incredible. So um, essentially, we've been playing a little bit. So we've got our, our, um, our oven set up and we have all of these samples. As I mentioned, there's lots of powder coming. And then we've done a few other things, uh, something you don't typically see every day. So a typical uh, ceramic coffee mug. And this is just your normal um, hot pink. And then this is a normal powder. You can also 
Um, they have a clear coat powder, which you can actually make it even brighter. So uh, just your normal uh, everyday coffee mug. It was just a plain uh, white mug, and then we would change it to a hot pink. Uh, we have some um, high heat masking uh, tape coming, and we have a, a special printer that's a cutter. So we're going to be able to make things like logos or names um, or sayings or any kind of expression on a mug and then it'll be a two-tone effect which will be something we'll share with you in a later video. So we've got this, this normal pink that we did and then uh, we tried this uh, blue purple and um, it was a, a normal and hopefully the, the camera can pick it up. The, um, the blues and the metallics and it changes to a purple so it's like a purple blue uh, sparkle metallic and um, really really neat effect and uh, it's just something that's different so hopefully it kind of shows up in the camera because typically what you need to do is you need to show these effects under natural sunlight because that's when the metallic really jumps or bounces so this is a um, one of the chameleon colors they refer to and uh, it's color changing and it's just a, an incredible amount of, uh, of metallic and it's just something that's kind of fun and different but it gives you an idea of this was a black mug with the white insert um, and then we did this chameleon look so we can do different things when our because um, our cutter is ready we can cut the vinyl and we can put uh, names or um, you know smiley faces or things of that nature and then um, a lot of people are not familiar that you can also do glass so we have this wine glass that we've done this uh, Harley Davidson texture to so this was a normal clear wine glass and then we've given it this black texture um, so then it's uh, it's been cured so we've got a couple of those in different colors and then this is kind of neat this is uh, a water dish bowl that my wife Julie had um, for our dogs and uh, so it's a it's a stainless um, a stainless bowl and then we prepped and treated the uh, the bowl and then it's got this uh, dark burgundy metallic and uh, it's kind of neat too it's, it gives you a little bit different effect so there's lots of uh, lots of things that you can you can uh, treat with this this powder type of paint it's extremely durable and tough and we'll do some uh, durable testing on it uh, in upcoming videos and then we have this glass uh, just a little vase um, so it was a clear glass vase and then we did this uh, this gold look to it uh, a lot of people would do there's some transparent um, powder paint that we have coming so it's translucent so what we'll be able to do is uh, we'll have clear glass um, and I'll be able to treat the glass properly and we can apply um, several different colors and it's almost see-through but it, it tints the actual glass to a different color and then if you've got water with flowers in it or candles so there's there's lots of uses for it so it's not just limited to like automotive or motorcycle parts or just steel or metal uh, we've done quite a bit with glass and uh, ceramic uh, type product and then you can see where we've been doing some samples because um, we wanted to make sure that we have our gun set properly and then we're comparing um, the different uh, temperatures to make sure that we're adhering the, uh, the product properly. We'll also be doing some durability tests later. So we're doing uh, basic samples on aluminum um, and then once we have a few more samples done um, then we'll show you the durability. We'll, we'll look at uh, how it takes heat um, and how it takes abrasions and that sort of thing. So it's, a, it's quite a neat product. Uh, we're very happy to, uh, to be able to have this available. So it's just, uh, um, it, it's continually going to be growing. We're taking baby steps as we get there, but we've got um, basically all of the colored samples we have. Uh, we've placed four really large orders. Uh, they'll all be coming at different times. And uh, we'll, we'll just keep sharing with you some of these neat little videos um, as we as we do more sampling and create a little bit more uh, knowledge and, and uh, different applications for this powder type of paint. So I thank you for watching. I'm John from KingstonPowderCoating.com.